Now to begin the process of uh, creating redundant license servers uh, for the Wonderware uh, system platform 2017 update one product first of all let's take a look at the system and verify that we are not in a domain okay we verify that uh, my primary which is this system called Acme Hiss is in a work group my secondary system or the system that's designated to be my backup license server I'll also take a look and make sure it's also uh, as part of is part of a work group now the next thing let's verify that the license server is installed on both the primary and the secondary node and we do that by uh, opening up the configurator utility selecting the license server component and in this case right here the primary server name is Acme Hiss but I'm going to point uh, make sure that it's pointing to itself in this case the, ser the system name is Acme GR I'm going to test the connection and verify that the license server is installed on this particular node now I'm going to go to the primary server and do the same thing I'll open up configurator and we can see that it's also pointing to itself now the next thing that we need to do is verify that there is a username and password that is uh, consistent across both systems and we can do this by simply looking at the Wonderware change network account utility because that should be a name a uh, username that is consistent across both nodes and in this case I'm going to use WW admin so this is on my primary node I'm going to verify the same setup on the secondary node and it's also WW admin now now that both we verify that there is the same uh, username and password uh, on both systems next we'll go back to the primary and we're going to open up Windows services and we when we open up Windows services we're going to look for two specific services related to the license server the two services are license manager web service and the license server agent service now what we're going to do is we're actually going to ch modify those two services to log on as a specific user as opposed to the local system account so I'm gonna say this account and I'm going to uh, simply type in my uh, Wonderware network account say okay and I'm gonna type in the password and simply select apply say okay and I'm going to restart the service now I'm gonna to go to the license server agent service and do the same thing and I'm also going to restart that service okay once the service has been restarted now I'm going to open up the license server interface so I'll go here to the uh, the license manager interface we'll go to Snyder Electric and select the Snyder Electric license uh, manager this will bring up the web page now 
I'm going to add a server and I'm going to type in the name of my secondary in this case it's Acme GR and select apply okay once that's done I'm going to select Acme Hiss which is my primary server I'm gonna to go to manage and I'm going to enable backup server so I'll enable the backup and I'll select from my list from my uh, uh, list of servers and I'm going to say apply now once that's complete you'll see that now I have a primary and a backup and it shows the status of both systems the primary and the backup and the pair status is paired and available now let's configure one of our Wonderware nodes to uh, point to a primary and a, a backup system now this is a Wonderware node that is serving as a uh, in touch or HMI node and so I'm going to open up the configurator utility so I can see that it's already pointing to the primary so now I'm going to enable the backup and you'll see that it's already populated with the backup server name I'm going to test the connection and you can see that the connection is to both the primary and the backup and they have succeeded and just simply click on configure once the configuration is successful it'll show it in the log click on close and that completes the steps to create a, a redundant license server for the Wonderware System Platform 2017 Update 1 product. Thank you.